Hi, welcome to Quinn's RC. Today I'm going to be talking about relocating the battery on the Hobby Plus T Hunter. One of the biggest impediments to crawling is the way the battery is mounted. It's mounted up here very high on the bed of the truck in a little case like this. I've removed that. Now the only place to put that battery is really near the motor and it's really tough to get into the T-Hunter so you don't want to be just unscrewing a bunch of screws in order to get to the battery every time you want to change a battery. I did a really easy mod to let me do this. It's pretty simple. I just removed all the screws that held the body to the chassis except for the ones in the rear behind these tail lights. These might start to work out if they do. I'll take some uh, little nuts and put the screws in, maybe in reverse, and put the nuts in behind the tail light. But so far, so good. The body was held on in the front with screws through these two holes. And really, it holds pretty good. So if you just have the screws at the back and you just let it sit in the bumper like it normally would, you can open and close it and it holds pretty well. Now, if you're gonna be out bouncing around, what I did was I used these little tiny body clips from my rock van, I stole those. And if you're careful, you can just give this a little push. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but if you give this a push, the hole will come through and you can stick a body clip in there. It's not super easy, but I've done it a bunch of times and if you get yourself a tiny little set of hemostats like this, it makes the job a lot easier. I've tried to put a little more light on it so you can see the body clips right here and how they do not interfere with the it's close right there, but they do not interfere with the uh, steering linkage. So that works and it holds really solid. This bumper is really loose. It's just held on by the screws that I've now removed and it kind of wobbled around a bit. So all I did was I took some foam I had sitting around. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. And I put two sided tape on each of it, each side of that foam and just stuck it to the body so it holds a little better. The other uh, downside to removing all the screws that held the body down to the chassis was it was really loose in here. And uh, so what I did was I just used my body reamer to do a, start a little hole here, drill the tiny hole, and then put a screw through the roll cage straight into the body. So far it's holding up. Might not be absolutely the best. Again, if it starts to show signs of cracking, I'll throw a washer and a nut on the other side of this and a longer screw. But I used a tiny screw that I uh, used to hold the drive shafts on when I replaced the old plastic ones with the new metal drive shafts, which are really nice, by the way. I also had to cut a little notch out of the body back here because as you rotate up, the shock tower needs a little more room to move. I of course cut out more than I needed to. Now if you're going to relocate the battery, the really the only good place to do that is above the motor and behind the stock ESC. I had a body chassis set, I think it's called, for the FMS Atlas because I wanted to try to use that bumper on my FCX24 and part of that uh, kit has a little ESC tray and it just so happens that the Atlas has the same chassis rail width <clears throat> as the CRP, CR18P. So I took the little ESC mounting plate, I just used two screws so it does move around but the plate for the ESC in the truck kind of holds it there and what's sort of nice and maybe not 100% great because it puts a little strain on these little connectors but the stock battery just slides right in so this solution keeps that battery off the motor and lets it breathe and not get too hot i hope now after uh 
I made this one modification. I gained another three degrees in vertical climb on my little flipometer board, and I will show you that right now. If you want to see the previous modifications I've made in trying to get this thing to climb a little better, I will put a link to that video up here. Another modification I made between the last video and now was I added these really nice oil-filled shocks. They articulate well, they're very smooth, but they do raise the truck up a little bit. So I think that I might have lost a little climb, but even with that, moving this battery really made a difference. As you just saw, it can do 57 degrees on the flipometer. Let's take it out to my tiny little fledgling crawler course and see how it does on the wood bridge, which has been tough for all of my mini trucks. Now I have done it before the battery mod with a lot of throttle. So let's see how it goes now. Here we are at that spot. Yeah, typical. I have discovered if I come with more of a medium amount of throttle. Dang it. Let's try this again. I can make it. Without having to just really jam the throttle. So it's a little better but it's not perfect. I have some uh, brass portal covers in the mail getting here in a few days. Maybe after those go on, I'll be able to get up here with a slow crawl. I'd also like to give a shout out for my RC content creators group that I started on Facebook. Look for this logo right here. I have a link to it on my community page. It's just a place for small uh, social media RC content creators to go to have support trade tips and give advice to each other on helping each other grow their social media channels so check it out I almost forgot one of the other changes I made was with uh, the battery box removed there was no place for the switch because they had mounted it on that battery box so I just used uh, two-sided tape and stuck it right here on the chassis rail it's just about the same height as the front links so far i haven't noticed it getting caught on anything but that also makes it easier to turn the truck on and off the oil filled shocks while they really make the ride much nicer they do raise the center of gravity so a free mod that you can try is just looping a rubber band easier said than done around the shocks along the bottom like this and that completely compresses them and doesn't allow the chassis to ease up when you uh, are trying to crawl up a slope. Now I wouldn't take this out on the rocks with the rubber bands on there because the servo horn does grind a little bit on the front pumpkin but you do get a little more climbing out of it. You can see kind of that hot rod rake now with the front end tied down, but after it gets past the bumper, I can very carefully get 59 degrees, which is pretty, damn it. Okay, I'll try this with uh, my son holding the camera instead of me trying to one-hand it. 